Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at some examples of definite integrals. So in order to evaluate these integrals we're going to need to use the fundamental theorem of calculus. As a reminder I've written a summary up in the corner here. However if you'd like to review the theorem you can watch my calculus the fundamental theorem of calculus explained video by clicking here. Alright so let's look at example number one. Example one says Evaluate the integral from 1 to 2 of 1 plus y squared over y. So the first thing we need to notice for this integral comes from algebra. And that is, since there is an addition in the numerator, we can split this fraction up into two different fractions. So we can rewrite this as the integral from 1 to 2 of 1 over y plus y squared over y dy. And now recall that since our functions inside the integral are separated purely by an addition, we can rewrite this as two different integrals. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this as the integral from 1 to 2 of 1 over y dy plus the integral from 1 to 2 of y. Because y squared divided by y is just going to give us y and we're taking that integral with respect to y, so we need to throw the dy in there. Okay, so now we can evaluate these two integrals separately and then use the fundamental theorem of calculus. So we know the integral of one over y equals the natural log of the absolute value of y, and we're gonna evaluate that from one to two. And we know that we can just use the power rule for the integral of y, we're gonna get y squared over two. And we have to evaluate that from one to two as well. So now we can rewrite this using the fundamental theorem of calculus and we're going to get the natural log of 2 minus the natural log of 1 and that's going to be the first integral plus the second integral so that's going to be 2 squared over 2 minus 1 squared over 2. So using algebra, we can combine these two terms and rewrite that as the natural log of 2 over 1. And if you're wondering why I dropped the absolute value bars, it's because I know we're evaluating this at 2, and 2 is positive, so it's defined. We don't need to worry about negative numbers here. All right, so when we simplify this, we're going to get 3 halves. So this is what it boils down to. So if we plug this into the calculator, we'll see that this is approximately equal to 2.19. And that's going to be the answer for example 1 here. All right, now let's look at example 2. So the first thing to notice is that our functions on the inside of the integral are separated purely by a subtraction, so we can split this up into two different integrals. So I'm going to rewrite this as the integral from 0 to 3 of 3x squared dx minus the integral from 0 to 3 of 3 dx. Now notice that there's a constant in this first integral so we can just pull that out. So this is going to equal 3 times the integral from 0 to 3 of x squared dx minus the integral from 0 to 3 of 3 dx. Now, you may be wondering why I didn't pull this 3 out as well, because it's a constant 2 after all, right? Well, the reason I didn't do that is because it's simply a function of a constant. So that means the integral is very easy. All we have to do is a power rule on x to the 0 power, and we get x to the 1. So this integral is just going to become 3x. And we're going to need to do a power rule for the first integral as well. So these integrals are going to become 3 times x cubed over 3 evaluated from 0 to 3 just using a power rule there minus 3x evaluated from 0 to 3. So now we can use the fundamental theorem of calculus and be done. So this is going to be 3 times 3 cubed over 3 minus 0 cubed over 3 minus 3 times 3 minus 3 times 0. 
So this is going to give us 27 minus 9, which is going to simplify to 18. And that's going to be the final answer for example number 3. So this is how we evaluate definite integrals using the fundamental theorem of calculus. I hope this video helped clear things up for you, and thanks for watching. If you thought this video was helpful, please subscribe, like, and share with your friends.